Climate change will impact many millions of people during the 21st century. There's no time to waste. We know what needs to be done, we have the evidence we need, and our students and the public have shown us that they're passionate. To avoid the worst case disasters, our politicians need to heed these calls and take action now. I'm John Church, I'm an oceanographer. I study rising sea levels and their impact on the world. Now, one of the key issues in understanding climate change is how much heat the ocean is taking up. Over 90% of the excess energy stored in the climate system as a result of greenhouse gas emissions is stored in the ocean and therefore understanding ocean heat content is a key to understanding climate change. Changes in ocean heat content also means that uh, the oceans expand as they warm, uh, sea level rises uh, and that together with contributions from the loss of mass from glaciers and also from the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica means that sea level is rising and impacting coastlines around the world. Inevitably, rising sea levels will result in the displacement of people, particularly if we follow the worst case or business as usual emissions trajectory, where emissions continue to grow over time and sea levels rise at an increasing rate. People will be forced to move from their location, either temporarily or permanently. Some of these people will move within nations. In some cases, they may be forced to uh, cross national borders. I do think it's really important that uh, science is communicated to the public, particularly on an issue like climate change. It's a critically important issue affecting all of society and ultimately society has a, has a major impact on deciding what the policy will be. It is not just politicians on their own, but the influence of the public will influence what that policy is. But it's also important that we, as individuals, uh, act on climate change, uh, reducing our energy usage, particularly our energy wastage. Society can do a lot by adopting re renewable energy, energy efficiency, and we can actually save money by many of these steps, as well as reducing our greenhouse gas emissions.